Jack want to? Hello. How are you? Okay, good. Sleep note, mesdames et messieurs. Alors, est-ce que quelqu'un, est-ce que juste pour le principe, est-ce qu'il y aura des questions Oui. Oh, not you. <laughs> this guy's been following us for five weeks, man. Seriously, this guy's with, been like one? almost every show for five weeks. With the J uniform? Yeah, with the orange, the orange jumpsuit. You don't, you don't want. Like stand up, stand up. Let everybody see it. This <laughs> five weeks. This guy's been with us for five weeks, and he probably smells like we do right now, which is awesome. <laughs> Sid, how are you? And, uh, I don't know if they see that, but this is very impressive. How does it work? Uh, we're we're uh, constantly trying to uh, develop new ways for me to continue touring because I keep freaking down, so we have to get you know biomechanics and stuff going to keep me operating. Right. Um, how, how does it work, really, with your? How, it's very impressive. Remote control. Remote control? Um, all right. How should I call you? Zero or Sid? Sid is fine. Sid is fine. Um, it's going to be a great show, I guess, tonight. I hope so. I hope have, so. Have you heard uh, Gujira before? Yes. Yeah, we did some shows with them. How is it? No, they were great. They were really good. Um, probably one of the best French bands I've ever seen. So they're very, very good. So we're very, very happy for them to be, to be here and just to be back, actually. It's a very important year for you uh, because you are celebrating your, the 10th anniversary of your first recording. Yes. And you're going to do a big thing on 999, 9th September 09. Yeah, we're going to take a nap. What? <laughs> yes. <laughs> little nap, little nappy nap on 999. Maybe something else, I'm not sure. We might have breakfast. Breakfast yeah. and nap. I don't know. Don't judge me, dude. Just let, me, just let me be as God made me. All right, that's all I'm saying. All right, no CD release. Like uh, we'll see. You? We'll see. Yeah. I mean, as soon as white, as soon as we know, you'll find out. So <laughs> there you go. Right. Absolutely. Where? Yeah, I heard that. You <laughs> Jeff, <should>. leave the room. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Jeff? Oh, you don't want to know. All right. <laughs> if you're in the wrong place, you'll find out. All right. Okay. I'm looking forward. Anything else for us? Yeah. Okay. Good. There's gonna be this re-release of your first recording with bonus yes. tracks. Like, yes. What bonus tracks are there? Um, uh, just uh, a bunch of uh, stuff that was recorded during the, the recording of the first album, plus some demos uh, that people have never heard before. Um, some alternative versions of uh, a couple of different songs, and uh, you know some remixes and stuff. Plus, there's a whole DVD that. Uh, our own clown put together of uh, footage from 99 and 2000 that nobody's ever seen before. And uh, we're pretty we're pretty excited about it, you know? It's just, it's gonna be a really awesome special edition package that uh, is really just for the fans, you know? It's, uh, it's dedicated to everyone who has been with us since day one. It has helped us get to where we are. You know, the, this is the first press conference where you have so many people. Yeah. Is it always the case? You understand that? The oh, nobody wants, of nobody wants to talk to us. Nobody likes talking to us, really. They're scared? Uh, well, I don't know if they're offended by our mouths or our smell, to be yeah, honest. It's actually sweating quite a bit. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're starting to sweat yourself, see? I you know, know, I'm scared, man. Yeah, but why, would yeah. you be, why would you be, why would you be scared? <laughs> why would you be scared? I'm really scared about him. He gets a little close. Yeah, you just, you, do just don't put your hands around his mouth. I don't know. I don't, don't ever do that. Don't, yeah, and don't walk on it. Nice tone. All right. Um, how is Iowa? Do you still live there? Oh, sure. How is it? Uh, it's moily. That's all I got to say. Really. It's moily. <laughs> it's great. You know, it's home. You know, it's where it's where our family and friends are. Uh, it's where this all started. So when we go home, it's really good to kind of feel what created this in the first place, for the better or the worse, you know? How do you call your city? Des Moines? Uh, Des Moines. Des Moines? Des Moines. Can you describe it? Both in French, I think. <laughs> like Des Moines or something. I think, I think, yeah, I think I it is. It's, it's a French derivative, I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. You, know, you know what it means? No. Monks. What is it? Monks. Monks? Yeah. The monks. Yeah. Oh, cool. 
I, I, see, I, never, I never knew that. Did you know that? Is it from the, the Indian tribe? Oh, right on. Cool. Does it make any sense? Mm. Sure. I don't know. Well, there was a fort there, but I don't know if there's any monks. You are fascinated by numbers. Yeah. Why that? Um, well, you know, the math rules the universe. You know, everything is numbers. You know, I mean, every culture had their own symbology and their own uh, fascination with numbers. You know, different numbers meant different things. What the hell is going on? I think we're about to launch right now. <laughs> this is uh, where the interpretive dance section starts. Anyway, um, yeah, I mean, for us, the, uh, the, the numbers were really just about making a statement, you know? I mean, just right along with the masks and the outfits and everything, you know? It was more about taking away what seemed to matter the most in the industry at the time. It was like, screw you. This is what you get. Screw you. You do not get what you think you need. You get what we're going to give you. And that's kind of been our philosophy since day one. You know? But now that everybody know your real face, because you've been onto other projects where you, or you made interviews without your mask, yes. don't you think that a part of this uh, magic has been less? No, absolutely not. Because it, it's not about hiding. It's about expression. You know, this isn't about hiding anything. This is about showing you what this is when it comes to this band. This is about showing you how I feel with the music in this band. You know, there's a, there's a place you can go when you, when you do this. It's been done for years and thousands of years. People wearing masks and guys and dancing and playing music. And it's, it's something that will never lose as a human race. You know. I feel like we should start singing our answers, you know, it's like, yeah. I think we wear the masks because it, I don't know, I got nothing. <laughs> Do you play guitar, acoustic guitar? What? Do you play acoustic guitar? I have no idea what you're saying to me right now. Acoustic guitar. Acoustic guitar? Yeah. What about it? Do you play it? Yeah. You want to play it? No. Why then? I don't. No. Don't you think? No! So no! <laughs> you think you else? You want to ask? You're... No! <laughs> no, keep cool, keep cool. Okay. We move to another question. That's okay, right. please do. You yes. are fascinated by barcodes. And I was thinking of the issue of identity because mass is about identity. Barcodes yes. is also about that. Yeah. It's a statement of our, about contemporary world also, no? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, we were kind of. Uh, We we're kind of ahead of the game when it came to barcodes, you know? I mean, everything seems to be, you know, pan and scan these days. You know, it's going to get to the point where they've got chips embedded in your head just to know who you are. So, for us, it was, uh, you know, kind of a, a satirical way of looking at just how basically homogenized the, the music industry had become. Everything was a product. Everything was you know, mass marketing and everything was blah, 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 you know, and instead of using that to be, to make something real, I mean, we were like, okay, if we're going to be a commodity, here's where you scan us, basically, and, you know, we, uh, you know, we, we started it and our, our mindset has never changed as far as, like, how we look at the music industry. I'd say 98% of it is glutted with absolute crap, and we just continue our war, you know, for real music and real emotion and real expression and doing new things instead of regenerating old reruns of music. Do you think that... I have, I have uh, mental problems right now, so I have to go. Thank you. Alright, everybody say bye, Chris. Bye, Chris. He's gonna go. But you did that to him, by the way. That's your fault. C'est votre faute s'il est parti. Est-ce que quelqu'un a une question That's right. Shame on you. Honte à vous. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Go on. Vas-y. Uh, je voudrais savoir uh, qu'est-ce qui vous fait choisir vos masques Qu'est-ce qui vous fait choisir Vos masques. Uh, how did you pick up your, your mask? Your, your, for instance. How do I what How did you pick up your mask?
up your mask. How do I pick it up? Yeah. Sure. With as little skin as possible. <laughs> Are you kidding me? It's like right now, like I don't know if you'd see it. Look at that. Ew. That's dis that's disgusting right there. It smells like someone else. Let's just put it that way. Um you just I mean you just there's no getting out of it, so you just put it on, you know? You just you strap it on and hope you don't throw up all over yourself. What about the, the clown? Why I don't know if he wants to talk today. I think he wants to punch today. I'm not really sure. Yeah. Yeah. Look at him. That's right. Sorry. Uh, I mean, look at him. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you you want to talk about your mask? Which one? <laughs> I've had several. We all had several. But we just it kind of goes back to the last question you asked. Where it's an expression of the personality inside. Each person has to develop our own evolution of our personality to every album. So. It's a, it's a matter of um, how you want to sit down here. Oh, sorry. All right. Um, All right, what do you got for me? Quelqu'un a une autre question? Oui. Oh, uh, what? Uh, le micro, le micro. À chaque concert, Corey nous dit qu'ils vont revenir Mais ils vont revenir quand Cette année, l'année prochaine, dans 4 ans When will you come back to France When will you come back to France next time When will we come back to France next time uh, That's a great question. Um, I'm not sure. Um, we're kind of getting towards the end of the cycle. Um, we're trying to plan some stuff in the winter, but I'm not sure if we'll be able to get back over to the continent for that. So uh, hopefully, within the next six months, but it may not be till the next tour cycle. That's just being honest. So. Une autre question? Une autre question? Oui, monsieur, si tu peux. You, back there with the hair. Let me hear it. What do you got? What do you got for me? Oh, it's, yeah, we gotta get the mic to him. Hello, everybody of you. Hello, Corey. Hey, first first of all, thank you for the music you play. Oh, you're welcome. My question is simple. I come from Luxembourg, you asked me that, so oh, nice. I saw you a few weeks ago in yeah. Rockhaw. Um, my, my question is simple. Do you prefer playing open airs? Do you prefer playing in, high, in halls? Or... Uh, what was the question? I think you prefer to play on open airs or normal music halls? Oh, uh, do I prefer playing festivals to playing at clubs? Exactly. Um, they both kind of have their magic you know I mean a festival can be so much to, I mean I'll, I'll give you an example we played in uh we played in Roskilde last night and it was probably one of the best experiences we've ever had in our career and uh, that was in large part because of the setting it was a large part because of the fans and it was a large part because of just how on fire we were when we walked on stage so it was a very special night um, but at the same time, playing clubs and playing theaters, you know, there's an intimacy and there's an energy that is very, uh, it, it's very esoteric, you know, I mean, it's, you can feel it, you can touch it, you know, so, I mean, they, I, I love them both, you know, I don't like to cut it up, I don't get bummed if we're playing festivals and I don't get bummed if we're playing theaters, you know, I mean, to us, anytime we can get in front of our fans and do what we do, I mean, that rules. Thank you very much. Continue to You're welcome. Us. Thank you. Une autre question, une, une fille? Oui. Passez le micro vite, s'il vous plaît. Devant, 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 devant. Up front. Is that what that means? Yeah, exactly. I'm still working on my French. Une question plus bête. Ils arrivent à avoir des copines avec le look Oh, good question. Oh, God. Oh, uh, wait a minute. What the hell? What she said? Some of us, yes. Uh, some of us are married, some of us are engaged, some of us have girlfriends. And uh, they they think we're insane. So, there you go. 
you know. <laughs> the best kind of insanity is the, uh, you know, the, the ones that you back. C'est bon. Oui, moi, j'avais une question. Est-ce que le l'espace de liberté que leur a procuré leur masque n'est pas maintenant, on ne devient pas de plus en plus un, un enfermement dans, dans l'obligation de devoir se présenter maintenant systématiquement, même si les choses étant, ceux qui étaient plaisants il y a 10 ans, ne leur convient peut-être plus. never a prison you know I, I don't think there, there was never any holding back anything you know if anything it opened doors for us um, if anything it allowed us to tap into something that we had never really had the freedom to do before you know I, I think that's part of the vitality of this band you know we were able to act the way that a lot of people are afraid to act, you know? I mean, at the end of the day, we all try to be so civilized, and yet we're all really animals, you know? And if you don't give in to that every once in a while, you forget what it's like to really be a human and to really be, you know, a sentient being, basically. I know that may sound very pretentious, but when's the last time you just let yourself be whatever the hell you wanted to be, you know? When's the last time you had the, the strength to stand up and go, you know what, I'm gonna do whatever the fuck I like today. And I don't give a shit what anybody says about it. We get to do that every day. We get to do that every night. And there's something about that that is so open and so free and so true that a lot of bands on this planet will never understand what it's like to be us. You, you remember when, um the killing in Columbine happened. They said they linked that with the music of Marilyn Manson. And they say this music is an apology of violence. Yeah. And they said that kind of things about the music you play too. Yeah. What do you say to those people? I say they don't know what the hell they're talking about, you know? I mean, music is interpretation, you know? I, uh, you know. You can't, you can't count the number of kids that have come up to us and said, you saved my life. Yeah. I would not be alive today without you and your music. Exactly. And that, that crushes anything like that out there. We're saving lives, you know? You know, I mean, there are a lot of people in this, in this world who have their own issues, you know? And whether we're the trigger or Marilyn's the trigger or Pat Boone is the trigger, it, it doesn't matter, you know? I mean, people are going to take what they do and do whatever. The only intentions that are true come from us. You know, and we have saved so many kids over the years that I challenge one person to show me where we were not a positive image for those kids. And that's just the way it is. Another question here. You came in 2004 at the The show was super, furious. You came this year. You like this festival? Go again. Yeah. Well, you came here. You came here before. At 2004. Yes. Do you like this festival? Oh yeah, yeah. It's really cool. Uh, it, it took us an hour and a half to get here um, through some crazy winding roads, and now we're out in the forest. But uh, it's a it, it's a really open sense, you know. It, it's kind of in line with a lot of the festivals that you find in Europe. You know, there's so many different types of music on one day and that's what's beautiful about Europe is that a lot of times in America it all gets chopped up and put into certain sections whereas the European fans and the European festivals they look at music in a very broad sense that's very in line with the way we look at music as well so I love it I love it here what, what, what kind of music do you listen to uh, specifically me yeah. oh uh, Spice Girls as much as I can. They're wonderful. What, what, what about you, Clem? Same thing. Same thing. Yeah, yeah, we're all big Spice Girls fans. Uh, I listen to myself. Oh, I didn't get it, sorry. I, I listen to myself. Yeah, and that's better. But we don't listen to him. <laughs> une, autre, une autre question, s'il vous plaît? Madame? Madame, oui. 
Will you come back in Geneva? Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I mean, it, it kind of comes in line with uh, if we end up coming back in the winter. We possibly. I mean, we'll see what happens. Because I will go to Vacan. You know Vacan. Yes. Are you a guest? Uh, hopefully, hopefully. I mean, we'll we'll see what happens. Merci. Une autre question. Uh, à part uh, encore toi. Okay. Ah, uh, don't let him talk. Good Lord. Mademoiselle d'abord. Mademoiselle d'abord. Yes. Alright. What's next for uh, Slipknot? What's, what's coming up? Sleep. As much freaking sleep as we can get, man. We've, uh, we made a joke the other day that we still tour like a band on their first album. And uh, we're kind of kicking the shit out of it ourselves. So we just want to sleep at the end of the day. I know that's not like, oh, you're crazy. You know what? Give me a nap. I'll be fine, you know. Little, little food, little, little one beer maybe, and I'll go right to sleep. We're, uh, we just, I mean, everything is dedicated to the show. Everything is dedicated to that release, and we do it so much that our bones hurt, our joints hurt, our muscles feel like pudding, you know. So we're just, we're just trying to get through this, and you know, hopefully everybody walks away having a good time. Okay, question. Monsieur, le micro, s'il vous plaît, le micro. Alors, après quatre ans, est-ce que votre nouvel album a aussi bien marché que le dernier Submi Minival Verse? Did your, your last album work well? Did you work well? Did you sell a lot? He asked if the last album is a new album or did you as much as the last album? The success of the, this last album was amazing, you know? I mean, it, it went even further than the other the other albums that we released, before, you know, prior to that. So. Uh, you know, everybody seems to be really into it, and it keeps getting bigger, so, I mean, yeah. yeah. Growing and growing. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. You sold, I think, 25 millions of albums since 10 years, that's it? What's that? You sold 25 millions of albums for the last 10 years, that's right. Oh, yeah, sure. It is? I don't know. <laughs> I'm honest, I don't, I don't know. I couldn't tell you that. You should ask your label. I just know that a lot of people have a albums. <laughs> and at the end of the day, that's really all I know. What can we expect for tonight? Because your shows are so spectacular uh, musically, but vis visually. You know? I'm not really sure. All I can think about is that I have to make pee right now. I have to really make pee. Me too. Thank you so much. Right, thank you guys. Thank you.